they were busy like making that cash money so we can have a better life. When I was doing my research, I discovered stories from my family that I had never heard before, and it really struck me. Carol Nguyen shows her family vulnerable but also united in her short film No Crying at the Dinner Table. This Concordia School project premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival in 2019 and won the jury prize for short documentary at South by Southwest in 2020. No, like I I knew that I wanted to make a piece that explored this thing that, you know, this allows us to be able to grieve together and to share these experiences. 22-year-old Nguyen is a Vietnamese-Canadian filmmaker based in Toronto and Montreal. Her films often explore the subjects of cultural identity, family and memory. No Crying at the Dinner Table sees her interview her parents and sister about some of their deepest feelings. It started as a class project in Montreal but became a whole lot more. In the documentary, Nguyen's family tell the camera something they have never spoken about before. It's an extreme privilege that I had to be able to have these moments and for, for them to have allowed me to witness these vulnerable sides of them um, and to be so open and honest about their feelings, which um, at one point in their life they were ashamed of. But I guess for a while I was upset that they weren't trying hard enough for something. It was so emotional and heavy on set in a in a very good way like we knew that this was positive change that even my crew behind the camera uh shed a few tears even though they didn't understand vietnamese no crying at the dinner table explores themes of grief and death and allows nguyen to see what remains unsaid by her immigrant parents and what in turn her and her sister keep from them Nguyen says her stories always sprout from her experience as a Vietnamese woman in Canada, but there is a universal underlying theme to each story. We never heard these words of it affected me coming out of each other's mouths. So being able to hear that for the first time um, just kind of stripped the carpet away from the ground and re revealed everything that we were hiding under, under there. No Crying at the Dinner Table is now pushing for Oscar consideration. You can stream it for free on Vimeo. I hope that it can also spark conversations between um, the Asian community and the immigrant community about how, you know, throughout the assimilation process, we also have intergenerational trauma and that prevents certain things from being passed on or prevents certain traumas from for to be passed on. Um, I don't think we have many discussions about intergenerational trauma within these communities thus far. In Montreal, Sarah Rainville, City News. Coming up.